All right, we got some appliances going in. Ryan and company are going to take the handles off the fridge just to be safe. We got washers and dryers and cooktops and microwave and dishwasher. All right, we got a water line hooked up, pressurized. Give me that. Handle's going back on. Oh, I see light in that fridge over there. Man, I get it. Same, hey, same, it's same, same thing we did yesterday. Oh, that light. oh yeah. Four freaking oh, <laughs> The white light. All right, who's going to get the beer? That's got to be the first thing going in, ain't it? Yeah. Hey. Vance, if I send you for beer, you ain't going to bring Stag back, are you? Stag bottles, dude. Oh, Stag bottles. It doesn't get much better than that. I see. So here's the front entrance. That's the basement. One of the basement entrances. And here's the front laundry room. Oh, look at that. We got our washer and dryer in and set up. We had already had those, so they're not brand new, but they are good. So then we come into the kitchen area and look at this. Boom, this, this saw blade is 52 inches across, I believe. We inherited this from one of our flip houses in Missouri. And let me tell you, getting it up there, yeah, it's probably a solid 100 pounds, give or take, and awkward. And look where it is. It's over nothing. I'm not going to tell you how we got it up there, but just take a look at the beauty in here. This is hand-painted. Beautiful. We never thought we'd find, get a use for this and I told my wife, I'm like, we have to save this. And she wasn't so sure because in the house that it was in, you know, it was a dark home, it was moldy, it had been sitting unoccupied for years. But it made, what a difference in a nice fresh home it makes. That is just beautiful. Okay, so we look over here. Dishwasher is not installed yet, it's just in. The fridge is up and running. Ice maker works and everything. I mean, wow. Look at that. We have a fridge. This is brand new. One of the new appliances. Uh, now we're waiting for the, there's an oven over there, cooktop here. Monday I'm going to pick up this wood countertop, this Siberian Elm. And then next Friday all the rest of the countertops are coming in. The floor is starting to look a little better. My wife cleaned it, but there's still a lot of smearing and dirt on it. But once we get the final cleaning done, it is going to look very nice. And we have some ideas for the two peaks on the end, but I'm not going to show you those just yet. Oh, sorry, sneak peek. You just saw a peak of something. That's probably going to go up in a corner, a windmill. But looky here. We have a bed in my room. It's not quite ready to live yet. So here's the basement stairs from basically the garage. We designed it to have kind of a Dirty entrance down there, and then a regular entrance in the living room with the nice stairs. All right, the laundry room in the basement. All cabinets, countertops are in here. Uh, this was the one that had a leaky faucet, the plumber. He probably replaced it today when he was in, fixing the gas. So we just have to get the right hookups for the dryer. The plug is wrong. So, uh, electricians either got to put a new plug there or a new cord on for us. But this is the rough room in the basement here. The basement is not, it's finished with walls and everything, but here's the mechanical room. It's got a double door here, which I like. And there is the tankless water heater. 
Should be almost ready to go now. We just got to get the final okay from the gas man. And a nice tub sink down here after coming in from hunting. Wipe the makeup off. You know how that goes for the deer hunters. All right, and look who has come home to roost. The wall art. They all have a story with them. Illinois bow, Kentucky muzzleloader, Missouri bow, my daughter's Illinois gun, and that's my biggest uh, Illinois bow from last year. And I have one at the taxidermist now from this year, a five point from gun hunting. Okay, I showed you guys this rustic setup last time. However, look what my wife is working on now. Bang! The bar. This is going to be matching rustic. This is all 100 plus year old barn board from Kentucky. So she's working on that now. And I'll bring another update probably later this week. Because starting this Friday, a lot more is going to happen yet. And here's my favorite view, really. Oh man, there are some fish popping on the pond. Might be time to go throw a few casts. Back in the basement, uh, this is my hunting room. I'll build shelves all the way across here. This is where all my hunting stuff is. Obviously I got good security. Boom, outside right there. Shower right there, get dressed. Bam, and you're out. But here's what I really wanted to show you. Ah, oh, dang it, it's got screws on here. But inside of here is, uh, is all of the telephone lines and all of the cable lines and internet lines. So this is like a magic hub right here, which I'm really appreciative of, the electricians. So the internet and phone company and the satellite TV, when they hook up, their main is going to come right here. And then they just plug into whatever room we want it to be in because they're all labeled. What an ingenious thing. This is the first home I've ever had this in or even seen it. So it'll be so much easier. We don't have to route wires. I mean, I had them put in every wire in every room. So if we want cable TV, you know, by the bar, if we want Wi-Fi, the safe room, it all happens from here, it's much easier, and you ain't gotta go digging through floors and drilling holes and all that stuff. So, very much planning ahead for that. Looking forward to it. There's my closet, you think I can stand and go in there? But we utilized every last bit of space.